The topic this morning is the athletic program at Tennessee State University, and we're talking to Mr. Johnny Franks, who is the sports information director at Tennessee State University, as well as Mr. Fred Metcalf, who is a volunteer coach uh, at, with the football team at Tennessee State University. And gentlemen, before we had our break, uh, I think, Mr. Franks, we were talking about uh, some of the uh, activities that uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Coach Metcalf had been involved in dealing with what he called uh, his national championship. Right. Let's look at uh, uh, other games within that same area, but I think now we talk about the classics. And let's give you an opportunity to tell us, from your perspective, what does it mean for Tennessee State University to become involved in uh, one of these uh, classics? And perhaps if you want to uh, talk about some of the classics uh, uh, specifically, we want to encourage you to do that. Well, look, when you look back at the classics as far as Tennessee State's prep, uh, participation in these classics, uh, back, in the, back in the 20s and 30s and 40s, uh, it was always the dreams of the administration at Tennessee State University to not only play football, but play football in front of huge crowds. Mm -hmm. And Fred Metcalf's team back in 1956 accomplished this. Mm -hmm. In fact, that crowd in the Orange Bowl that year still ranks 10th on our all-time list as far as attendance is concerned. Mm -hmm. But that opened up the dreams for the classics as far as TSU's participation. And since then, we've traveled all over the world, all over the United States, going from mm -hmm. St. Louis to Washington, D.C., to East, uh, I mean, the New Jersey to out mm -hmm. to the, the California areas, all over. And, and what it basically means, not only from a financial standpoint, mm -hmm. but it also brings about a good public relations for the university. Mm -hmm. Because not only is the football team there, you do have the band there, you do have members of the admissions office there recruiting not only student athletes, but they're recruiting students in general for the university. It's a great marketing tool mm -hmm. for the university because it not only showcases the football team and the other athletic teams, it also showcases the educational programs that the uni university offers. Mm -hmm. And so uh, on a particular Saturday, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend at a particular classic in a city, you'll have chances for people to be meeting with uh, high school students, mm -hmm. getting them interested in the university. You'll have other type of luncheons and meetings with the alumni in the area. And then again, you got the game itself. Mm -hmm. And of course, after that, you have other activities involved with the weekend. So it's more just than just a football game, mm -hmm. it's an event. Mm -hmm. And this year, of course, we are participating in three of those events in Memphis, in Orlando, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And it reaps wonderful benefits from the university. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, uh, Coach Metcalf, uh, uh, this next statement can uh, only uh, give you an opportunity to give us an impression because. Uh, Nobody can ever uh, tell how they feel in reference to uh, what I'm about. But how does it feel as a uh, football player to stand in front of 50,000 fans? I mean, see, because from my perspective, uh, I think we're dealing with a lot of young men, 18, 19, 20. And, of course, uh, I think, uh, as you've indicated, uh, you have to admit that today some of these young men, before they get to Tennessee State University, have had an opportunity to play in front of huge crowds. But what does it mean? Now, what, what kind of feeling... Uh, uh, do you get when it's about kickoff time and you look around and you're surrounded by 70,000, 60,000 people as Tennessee State University and young people were surrounded by the other day? I mean, what are some of the feelings? Uh? It, it literally, you know, blows your mind before the game starts to see that many people, you know, in the stands. But mm. uh, when the game starts, uh, you know, you, you, you're never really aware mm -hmm. uh, that they're there. Uh, mm. Your mind is on the game. And, and what the game plan is. So, mm -hmm. uh, as we were telling our young, young, young men when we went to Memphis, uh, when they went out for warm-ups, uh, get a good look because after that, mm -hmm. uh, the game should be played uh, mm -hmm. between the lines, mm -hmm. and that's where your mind should be focused. Mm -hmm. But it is when when we went to Florida and and to see uh, that many people, mm -hmm. uh, it was just mind-boggling. And they had already predicted it. It was going to be fi over 50,000 mm -hmm. people there. And when we got there, uh, my picture and a teammate's picture of mine that was on the front page of the Miami paper. Mm -hmm. And that really shocked me. It was just something that it was that I was not really aware was going to happen mm -hmm. when I decided to come to Tennessee State. Mm -hmm. It was quite a quite a rewarding experience mm -hmm. for myself mm -hmm. and uh, certainly some of these young men are feeling the same kind of, of, of mm -hmm. rewards in, in, in going to these various classics. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that they will never forget and it will be with you uh, mm -hmm. throughout their lives. Mm -hmm. It will be with them throughout their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. You know, uh, Mr. Franks, I think that uh, you've already indicated the uh, financial uh, 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 benefits that come from these classics. 
And that reminds me of uh, having on this same program not long ago, the uh, athletic director at Tennessee State University, Mr. Howard Gentry and uh, coach uh, Bill Davis. And one thing that we talked about then and is something that I like to pursue now is uh, the financial rewards that come from these classics and uh, what these financial rewards can do in terms of bringing about what is known as uh, gender equity. And so let's talk about uh, what Tennessee State University is doing now in terms of gender equity. Well, of course, right now, Tennessee State University competes at the Division I level in all sports except for football. In football, we're 1AA. And usually programs across the country, whether it's a Tennessee State or a Middle Tennessee State or Grambling, they have to play certain games to ensure them money. They're quote, quote unquote called money games. Mm -hmm. And usually we're, we're in a, 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 we have an advantage in the sense that we can play teams of similar talents in these mm -hmm. games that create money for us as far as these classic games, mm -hmm. whether it be Jackson State, Florida A&M, or South Carolina State. But in other situations, like a Middle Tennessee State, you will see them having to play a Texas A&M, mm -hmm. a Texas A&M, a Division I team, a game where they really have no chance to win, a game where they will probably uh, sustain uh, uh, In injuries mm -hmm. and things along that nature. And it's not really to a fair advantage for them to go up against a team like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, in our situation, not only does it produce uh, a wonderful classic game for us, it also, as we talked about earlier, it pre uh, presents us a game where it's a winnable game and also gives us a chance to, once again, enjoy the, the whole atmosphere of the classic. Mm -hmm. As far as what it does for your whole entire athletic program, it, of course, Tennessee State University fields 14 sports, mm -hmm. uh, seven men, seven women. Mm -hmm. And whether it be tennis, uh, golf, uh, women's and men's track, mm -hmm. volleyball, um, only basically three sports of our 14 are revenue producing sports. The mm -hmm. other ones are called non-revenue producing mm -hmm. sports. And so basically that's where the money comes as far as mm -hmm. from the money that we're bringing in admissions and attendance, mm -hmm. it goes to fund your entire athletic program. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, also helps in terms of uh, what you're able to uh, give in uh, those areas of non uh, revenue producing sports. It uh, helps to balance the, mm -hmm. the books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. And of course, uh, uh, we uh, have to uh, stop now to take uh, our second commercial break uh, here. And when we get back, uh, we'll talk about uh, some of the other things that uh, are important in terms of the athletic program at Tennessee State University. And especially, uh, Coach Metcalf, we want to call upon you again to uh, give us some additional information in terms of discipline. I think that uh, what you'll find and, and what many people are now saying is that the discipline during your period uh, in terms of what students had to do and et cetera is quite different from the discipline uh, today. And so we want to talk about that uh, after we come back from uh, our second uh, commercial break. We'll now take our second commercial break uh, for the morning.